What's up guys, I'm Carnival6 and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 15! I'm on top of a bank and it's night time. So I'm waiting for morning time guys. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna build a little shelter here just in case it gets cold and stuff. I, unfortunately I can't build it here because this is glass. Uh, you can see the zombies stand there. Yeah, I can't do that. So. I'm going to build a little shelter here because what else should I do during the night but in case you know just in case I start freezing and stuff so I always do that you know um seems like this town doesn't have many stores the good thing is there's a tool store and I think uh, a bookstore I, I'm not quite sure I have to check again but um I'm gonna check it out next thing in the morning, loot those things, you know, those stores. Alright. Yeah. Okay, let's put this one first. I like to put my bed inside one of um, these uh, shelters. You know and also a campfire so you know if, if if it's cold you can light up the fire and uh, warm yourself you know and also if there's sort of like a threat I don't know hornets and stuff but hornets uh, don't appear if you're low level but I think spiders still do appear sometimes and that's pretty dangerous because you know once they attack and all of that you can't hide so it's always good to have something you know to to keep yourself safe from because it happened to me on multiplayer when the spider zombie killed me and fortunately I put the bag inside uh, the shelter otherwise uh, this the zombie spider zombies zombie could have been you know could have just killed me over and over again because you spawn on your bed and if it's outside um, the zombies also there you know so yeah I always go rather on the safe side you know why risk okay so oh it's not very very wide I have to extend this a little bit it's just, you know, I put a campfire in my bag that's going to be too tight, so I'm gonna extend a little bit more. Maybe one or two. There you go. So basically, I have one, two, three. Still small. Okay, let's put one more. And also I need to find the ranch. I don't know if there's a gasoline station in this town. Seriously need to, you know, if if it's uh, if there's a gasoline station with a workbench, that would be super awesome. But then got to have a ranch to disassemble that thing. Because if you don't know, guys, that's one of the new features in A15. You can um Increase the quality of your tools and weapons by using the workbench, okay? Or repair them. And also a lot of stuff um, can only craft them by using the workbench. Alright, so the workbench is now really very important to have. Now you can also, of course, craft a workbench, but you need steel for that. And to unlock steel, it's quite expensive doesn't uh, happen instantly like before I think a uh, steel costs 30 let's see uh, as a matter of fact let me check I have 16 points available I got one uh, run forest run trade uh, perk I got uh, one sexual tyrannosaurus let me see if I have um, Quality Joe, let me get one because I'm gonna go on a loot um, run tomorrow. Well, in the morning. 
and as you can see here steel smithing costs uh, you know it's uh, you need construction tools you need to be level 40 and it cost 30 points so you have to um, you know keep 30 points or save up and also increase your construction tools all right now as far as I know construction tools increases if you use them and I think the stone axe is also a construction tool just as uh, just like the wrench or the claw hammer and all of those things if you use them a lot it increases your you know construction tool level all right luckily it's uh, quite bright tonight it's not too dark so I think you guys can still see Do I have... Oh man, I don't have too much wood anymore. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Yeah, I need to chop some trees. See? Level 11. You do this, and it will constantly up your level. I don't have a cooking pot yet, right? Oh boy. I don't think I have. Let me see. No. Okay. What I'm thinking of, guys, because this town doesn't really have much, I thought, you know, after looting this town, I'm going to go and explore over here. Still seems to be like it's still green. I'm going to go there, maybe find another town, you know and maybe that town is better gotta be careful not to fall here because then it breaks oh boy i need to block that but i should make more wood frames Yeah, there's like a ton of zombies in in A15, guys. Oh, I don't have wood anymore. No. Oh boy. Anyways, I'm gonna wait until it's morning time. It won't take that long anymore, and uh, I'll get back to you. Bye. All right, guys, it's morning time. Yay! So now I'm gonna check out the town. What's going on with this? Oh, look at that. Jesus. Um, I need to get some wood first guys or otherwise I can't make stone axes and then if I don't have stone axes I can't break into things right so let me get some some wood first all the zombies are waiting downstairs they want to kill me so are you guys playing a15 and my question is if you do what are you enjoying so far? What do you like so far about A15? And what is it that you don't like about A15? Just leave a comment and let's discuss, all right? So, uh, so far for me, A15 is, uh, it's good. You know, it's an improvement uh, compared to A14. But um, didn't change much of the mechanics or anything game mechanics it's still the same um there are more zombies that spawn you know uh you get a ton of zombies you'll see during my gameplay that uh what i'm talking about like like uh you approach a town and then all of a sudden all the zombies are chasing you you know so let's make some all right and I'm gonna chop some real trees. This is yes, Cracker Book. Oh my God! I need to loot that. I need the crossbow schematic and the spike club schematic. But you know what, guys? I'm really, really almost you know critical now. I'm dehydrating. I need to find something to drink. 
Did I loot this yesterday? No, I didn't, right? Water. No! Water. Water. Give me water. No water. Oh my god, and I don't have light. Come on, seriously, give me all empty. Beer. Water. Water. Okay, you know what? I'm going to block the front. What do I have? 244. Let me block this. It's going to break. God damn it. And why am I complaining again? Okay, look at them. Trying to get here. Okay, let's loot this place real quick. I should have taken the torch with me. Look at that! Empty, empty, empty. Come on, seriously, game. Hunting rifle or what? Not gonna read it now. Give me a crossbow. That was a shotgun. Give me a crossbow. Pistol. Crap. Banging on the door. They're really ready to kill me now. And I'm gonna call everybody like, Hey, she's inside there! Look. Come on, gas. Jesus. Go here. Another shotgun. They don't stack anymore, the schematics guys, so... Yeah, normally need to read. Okay, you know what? Read before I die here and... But you can't read them as fast anymore. Look, read. This one is hunting rifle. You can't press read unless you're done with it. Alright, another shotgun. Oh, come on. Seriously? Come on, please. Crossbow. Crossbow. Damn it. And also, guys, one important thing that I found out that is uh, really pretty awesome. You don't need animal hide anymore to make forges. You can just destroy uh, couches like what I'm gonna do now. Get some leather and you can make forges out of leather. Okay, let's get some of that. Are they inside? Not yet, okay. I haven't done it yet, but I don't know how many um, leather I will need for a forge. We will see. Maybe also 20? I don't know. I still need to get clay though. That makes uh, forging definitely easier. Okay. Still have some couches over here. Alright, so 26 should be enough. Sounds like uh, more and more zombies are gathering outside. They will, they will break in soon. Man, no crossbow schematic. Nothing. Let me take the couch here. That sucks. I should go, you know, the back side, maybe, maybe there's something there. Oh fuck, it's inside. See, I told you. <laughs> okay. I'm bleeding out, god damn it. No! they broke that. Let me take those. They're totally fierce now, the zombies. Luckily, it was only one of them. And 
not like a bunch. Sometimes they just, I mean, most of the time they gang up on you. That's what I've experienced so far. So, I want to check the roof. So let's go. Oh, there's some more feathers here. Go to the roof. The zombies are gathered back, back there. Look inside there like they can smell me I'm not even carrying meat damn it look if I go up there I can't jump okay let's try <laughs> I'm gonna go up here because I can't destroy the ladder come on just hurry up shotgun shells Some water, nice. All right, who's up here? Who's going up? See, crap! Tell me I broke my leg. Oh, was my leg not yet healed? Oh my god. Okay, They're coming. All right. All right, you freaking zombies. So, I need to go to the tool store, okay? I need to limp to the tool store. <laughs> oh, my lord. Look at that pig. It's been teasing me now for a while. Yeah, I want to go up there. But I jump, I break my leg again. Oh, my lord. They're going to follow me here. Give me awesome. Damn it. They follow me. Oh, see? <laughs> Told you. Look at that dude. All right, let's do it like this and break my leg again. No. All right, so you need to crouch. Give me water. A nurse. Okay, nurse. Wow, popping heads here. Look at that dude. He jumped from jumped from there and he's going home. Moving. Blessing. Complain. Depressing. Thanks. Inside. Streets. Get by. Outside, survive, head, beside, show us, sing, or rain. Okay, give me something. Something nice, but it didn't. SMG. Look at that in the trash, alright? A hammer, yes, that's nice. Quality crap, but better than the stone axe for repairing, you know. So, what's in here? Someone here? Give me a wrench. Give me a cooking pot. A wrench! Yes! Hard metal door. Okay. I'll put the door in my little shelter on the roof. Tokens. It's not really worth it guys it's more worth it like if you get treasure maps go on a treasure hunt that way you really get a ton of uh, those tokens and uh, diamonds and silver and gold okay I checked the roof already right so let me go to my base and empty my inventory okay let's see if there's an open part already because the zombies always tend to break it so not yet Ooh, there's someone over there okay I'm just gonna nerd pull over here
Unlocked. Give me something. Ooh, look at that. August schematic. Nice. Awesome. Okay, take the paper so it responds. And a skirt. Yes. Who wants to wear a skirt in the apocalypse? Not me. Anyone who wants to do that is free to do so. Oh, airdrop, airdrop. Where is he gonna drop? I can't see. Oh my god. Over there. How far? Oh, it's not far. Oh my god, I can get it. Jesus. Take this one. Give six wood. Alright, let me go down. I think it's here. All right, what you have? I need food, I need drinks. A pie! Yes! No oh, boots. Am I wearing? Okay, I'm wearing a lower quality. All right. Empty glass! Jesus Christ. Come on, don't troll me. There you have a little bit of water. Damn it. I don't think this settlement is uh, of use. Well, I'm not a fan of it, just like I said. And it's also not safe to stay here because there's just a lot of um, areas that the zombies can uh, break through. I mean, you can stay on top of the watchtowers and stuff, but you'd basically be trapped there if you're just staying uh, up there. Some crates! Some crates! Yes! It's a food crate. Both are food crates. We're probably inside already. Yes, more water! Nice! I need to drink beer because it also helps you with a stun so they can't they actually can't stun you if you're uh, you have a beer boost um, Wow nice basket all right and then I need to check the uh, supply crate maybe I'll get something some med kits and stuff very very important for the first days yes a med kit first aid kit nice awesome okay so the last to loot is this one guns now this is tricky guys because <laughs> the first thing i uh, first time i did it uh there was a huge surprise a birthday party surprise <laughs> so i'm gonna do it different this time you will see but I mean I can't break the safe anyway there's a safe inside there all right there's a safe inside there and you know first you get excited because this one is unlocked you'll be like oh nice you know and then you hurry up it's like oh my lord look at that a flawless cowboy hat no cooking pot oh no all right so be careful guys if you find something like this don't get over excited and just rush in there there are landmines inside so what i do is i shoot the landmine but gotta be careful because you know you can also get hurt when it explodes so let me see if i can shoot it from here oh what is this another one <laughs> i don't know if you can shoot through no you can actually let's see um that no i can't put anything here because of the freaking blocks jesus christ stupid blocks let's see i can't see it from here <gasps> there's a bear outside oh my god i heard a bear yes Oh my god, the bear is killing them. 
Let me see. Yep, you see? Yes, bear! Kill them! Kill them all! Okay, there's nothing else to see here. I don't want to die. You know, that's why I don't want... I don't want to shoot the... The mine for me because the corner is pretty bad here. If I stay here, it's gonna damage me also. Oh my god, they're inside. Yes, I know you're inside, fucking. I saw you. Come here. Give me something nice. That's way. Oh my god. There you go. Oh my lord, he's loaded. Jesus. Let me scrap this. I don't like the... I don't like the jumper because it makes me look fat. You know, the overall. So eat this, take that. Alright. Can't nerd pull. Yes! A mining helmet! Oh my god! Ta-da! <laughs> nice! A hammer! Oh my god. This lady is probably carrying water. Ta -da! 16 skill points. Oh my lord! Okay, okay, okay. Um, throw this away and take the pistol. Yes! That decayed mother, seriously. <laughs> you see that she's carrying food or, you know, drinks or a pistol and ammo. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm gonna end the episode here and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel. Alright, so I'll see you next time. I'm Chronicle 6. Bye bye.